Oh, hello. I am a bit red, isn't I? Just got off the bus from the zoo. Been on there for quite a while, hence why I'm all flushed. And now we're off to Britannia, the Royal Yacht. See if old Liz is in. Oh. Just spent three and a half hours at the zoo. Was you impressed by the zoo? It was fine for a little zoo on a hill, big hill. We see a panda. The only pandas in the UK. Ooh, lots of big boats. So yeah, I was actually impressed with the zoo because, yeah, the main selling point is pandas, which no other zoo in the country has. So. I see Britannia inside. So. Let's go and see if Lizzie is in. We have the Mary. Oh, oh. Hey, Mama. I went to Cleveland. Can actually read it. So that is the timeline of all the yachts, the Royal Yachts. I bet people at home can't name everybody that's in this picture. I bet they can't. If you want to read this, you'll probably have to pause the vlog. Oh, um... I'm in charge. So Diana and Charles had a 16 day Mediterranean honeymoon. So, oh God, if 
to go all the way round. First ever company, 1954. So that must be Charles. Charles. Who's that? She be basically. So the Conservatives decommissioned her. But then Labour also said that they weren't going to do a replacement.
don't be mean, Nathan. You want to get adopted by someone else? So that's number one, and the other one is number number two. So that's the Admiral's room. There's a bar. Hmm. Oh no, so this, this is the Admiral's room. Hmm. to house the Phantom 5 Rolls-Royce, or occasionally the Royal Land Rover, was considered an absolute essential. But it was no straightforward task to get the vehicle on board. First, the car and its transporter had to be hoisted onto the special trackway that's fitted to the deck. Even then, it could only be squeezed into the garage by removing its bumpers. ZT trying to phone phone home. So that there is the boat that used to detach from the yacht when they wanted to take little tours around like the aisles and stuff. And take queens on picnics. So this is the Queen's bedroom. This is the Duke's bedroom. Snobs were eaten on the royal deck. It's not a snack, it's a meal, isn't it? Mm. Chin chin. That must be an old car that you don't use anymore. Or a replica or something similar. Thank you. 
a bit Irish not Scottish um, we are now back at the hotel um, I'm absolutely knackered um, so we went to Edinburgh Zoo this morning which was really really good I wanted to go there um, because it's unique selling point is that it's got pandas so it was good to see them and then we went right across to the other side of the city and went on Britannia and I decided to push the boat out and <laughs> no pun intended oh I like that <laughs> push the boat no pun intended um, and treat Mark to a afternoon tea which consisted of smoked salmon sandwiches crisps salad pot of teeth to a ginormous scone um, but Mark chose to have some Dundee cake which I tried a bit of so that's like one of the Scottish things I can tick off um, and then we both had a glass of sparkling wine. I think it was rosé, wasn't it? Was it rosé? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was rosé, which is quite nice. Um, but I got halfway round Britannia and the battery died on the camera. Because somebody forgot to charge it last night. Um, so I've taken some footage on my phone so I'm going to have to somehow try and integrate that with the footage off the camera um, so that will be a little time consuming sitting in front of the laptop but yeah how do you think today's gone? Mark, you're on camera. <laughs> Very well. Bargain. Bargain? Bargain. Bus tickets, bargain. One end of the city for the other. Day ticket, £4. Uh, I mean, I have to say, I was quite impressed with the bus system. Don't like their colour scheme, do you? No. You know, all the colours to choose, let's go brown. It's a bit... Bit. Oh. Please I'm zooming out. Yes. So tomorrow we will be doing the castle. A bit of a easier day tomorrow. Um. So we're gonna have a bit of a line because we were up quite early this morning because I wanted to get two two of the attractions done. Um, and then we've got to get like the souvenir bits we're still yet to try some Scottish whiskey might do that later or tomorrow um, you can get some Scottish shortbread I'm trying to think what else Scottish food and drink wise to have haggis but I don't think Mark will do haggis will I don't touch them all that they're delightful he, he, he don't like black pudding, so he's not going to like haggis. So, I will end the vlog on that note, and I shall see you guys tomorrow. See you later.